All right, hey, what's up, everybody, uh, or whoever's watching? So the last video I posted was one week out from the contest, and uh, I haven't posted since. Was, those last number of weeks got um, got kind of tough, and so I was kind of sporadic in, in uploading videos and stuff like that. But if you're still following on like Instagram or Facebook, I'm still pretty at, more active, more so on Instagram story. But you can stay tuned there to see like. I don't know, just progress along the way, kind of what my plan is. So, today though, I have gotten um, a number of questions. I went, went kind of on a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, not a rant, but yesterday on my Instagram story. But, today I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly, exactly how I have figured out my, cap, you know, my target calories or my goal, where, where I want to be at. And then also macro, nutrients, and things like that. Um, because I have gotten a lot of questions about it, um, especially recently. So, um, if you have been following in the in the description of the videos, dude, back up. In the description of the videos, I include a link to my Google spreadsheet, which is view only. But you can see what I do, and the way that I have, uh, and I've already kind of laid this out before, but I still get questions because people don't want to watch the videos. But if you go back early. In the um, in uh, the, the my eighteen week eighteen weeks out video, you can see that um, or you hear that uh, I kind of break down my spreadsheet, my my fitness balance like that. So rewind a little bit. Originally, kind of jumping in last year, I hadn't I hadn't really consistently tracked for so long before prepping for this contest. So leading up to April. I really was kind of didn't have a clear idea as to where my body's capacity was at. You know, over time, if you continue to overeat or undereat or whatever, your body starts to adjust to that. And so, your capacity, your, your, uh, the amount of calories that you can consume doesn't always stay the same. You know, it's fluctuating. So, I kind of just guesstimated uh, around 2,300 calories is where I started at. And so, what I did was I tracked every single day in my fitness pal and I tried to hit 2300 calories well I found that I couldn't do 2300 calories I was like tracking 2300 calories but then I'd go and snack throughout the day and I so I wanted to get serious so I started um, tracking literally everything I could guesstimating if I had to but essentially came down to tracking every single day and I came to realize that well where I was satisfied calorie wise was around 26 2700 calories um so i knew and my my weight was maintaining or even slightly coming down and so i knew okay well now i found a good balance and that took me some time it took me a few weeks to do that to really you know one get serious myself and track everything that i was eating and not just pretend and track uh, the things that i wanted to track and the little snacks here and there kind of uh, just hope that they would be have no calorie impact. <clears throat> so it uh, took me a few weeks to really kind of gauge and figure out, okay, between 26, 2700 calories. A few weeks of tracking for me to figure that out. Um, then from there, I started tracking my calorie burn because now that I figured out, okay, I'm managing my weight around, you know, around this calorie intake. Now I know that I am working out about this level of intensity or this level of output. So now let me get a, let me get an idea of what that level of output is and see what I need to do to either continue to bring my weight down. So started tracking and early on I found my average to be at about 1,200 calories, 1,250, something like that, in about an hour 45, hour 50 minutes. I said, okay, all right, so I'm, I'm averaging about 1,250 calories burned every day. I'm able to consume about 26, 2,700 calories a day. And I'm maintaining my weight. So now, and again, that took a few weeks as well, like kind of coincided. But overall, that there probably took a few weeks of trying to just really be uh, meticulous about tracking and understanding. So from there, I understood, okay, 2,600 calories, 1,250 ca uh, consumed, 1,250 calories burned a day, and I'm maintaining. In order for me to make a difference in my weight, either up or down, one of these or both of these have got to change. And so what I decided to do was I'm going to keep this here, 2,700 calories, then I'm going to increase this. And so I, start, I, continue, I started to increase my calorie output every workout. 
um, as much as I possibly could within the time constraint that I had. And I started to find that I would max out just balls out dead at about 1,500, 1,600 calories burned in a workout. Sometimes I would get that, I mean, I'd be flying and I could get that done in an hour and 55 minutes. Sometimes it would take me two hours and 20 minutes. But for me, my goal was I needed to be able to hit the number of calories burned in order to allow me to, hit, um, to consume or eat this many calories in a day. And so in doing that, I started to increase little by little, like my average went from 1250 to 1350 to 1400 to 1450 to 1500 to 1600. And that's where they really started to max out. Um, but then what I noticed was I was consuming 26, 27, hundred calories and my weight started coming down. And so I was like, nice. Well, I'll just keep my calories there if my weight's coming down. Well, my weight kept, continued to, kept, uh, to keep coming down. And um, I maintained that balance and it probably an average of a pound to two pounds lost a week from about 227 all the way down under 210 pounds at the same amount of calories at, at about 26 2700 calories actually some weeks it got up to about um 2900 3000 because they had like father's day had fourth of july had all those things and so uh, <clears throat> the way and the way that I was able to do that is one, I invested the the time early. So here's here's the kind of a way I want to put it. If you could find a balance for you, whether and that's a, and again, this is a balance. I track. People ask me about how I track, so I tell them how I do it. I don't tell you to do it, but it's how I do it. But if you really wanted to, if I really wanted to look a certain way. Uh, let's rewind to the beginning of this year. If I really wanted to look a certain way by November 9th, because I'm my family, we're going on vacation November 9th. And let's say today's January 1st. <clears throat> if I really want to look a certain way by November 9th, am I willing to invest one solid month? Not of progress, but one solid month to try to understand where my body was at, how much I could consume, how much I needed to work out. And then be willing to say, okay, I, now, that I've, now that I've invested the time and understand where I'm at or how, what I need, now I'm going to commit to doing those things and then actually doing them. If you're willing to commit like one month to figuring things out, another month to really dial in and get focused in on the program and then continue that through, would you be willing to invest you know, the two months of time to really understand your body, who you are, what your body can take, what your body can give, and dial in and then achieve the, the health and fitness goals that you want for a long, 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 long time. Two months versus, you know, teaching, again, that's, so that's kind of the principle of give a man a fish or teach a man to fish, Right? Are you willing to put in those two months to learn how to fish and that way be able to fish for the rest of your life? And essentially, that's what it comes down to. <clears throat> Most people realistically aren't because they're lazy. They want to they want an answer to a question, but then they don't want the answer that they get, which is be conscious of what you're eating, eat balanced, eat under uh, your calorie capacity track if that's what you want to do if if tracking is the method that you're exploring work out work out hard not 15 minutes but but the, whatever time is necessary to do that um if you're willing to do that most people i find that aren't because they'll say hey man i see that you track and you do all these things and um you eat all this food how do you do that and um i said well uh or they say i want to do that and i said well I, this is how i do it I tracked every single day for however many weeks until I really understood what my calorie intake was. I, I tracked every single day my workouts, da da da, da. And immediately, 99% of people will say, oh, I just don't want to have to track, or I don't have to work out like two hours a day, or I don't want to have to do this. Well, then, you know what? It sucks for you, damn it. Because you either do the damn work or do what's necessary or just, just shut the hell up. <clears throat> we always want things that we, we haven't earned or achieved. So... How, how exactly did I do that? That's how I did it. I took the time that most people don't want to take 
I did the work that most people don't want to do and really understood where my body was at. Um, and that's an ever evolving process. It doesn't just, and then you solved it for the rest of your life. You're all, it's always something that I'm conscious of. Um, but that's how I did. So if you've been following on IG, um, this post contest this week has been great. Um, I've been eating like crazy. Um, within the last few weeks of, uh, of prep, I did drop my calories down just to try to get, you know, kind of the last little bits. I got down into the single digits body fat, which I was excited about. Um, probably the, the leanest bod pot test that I had at 7.8% body fat. Um, other guys out there that are, are walking on stage though, like five, under five, just crazy. Um, but my bounce back in the past has been crazy where I would gain 20 pounds in a matter of days. And today I woke up at 201. So last Sunday was 199. Um, on stage, I was probably between 197 and 199 and woke up on stage, uh, I woke up this morning at, uh, 201. So, <clears throat> um, so there's one week, one week down, I'm up about a pound, actually averaging pretty good calorie. My calorie goal this week was about 2,600, but I was really, um, higher than that. Uh, if you look at my spreadsheet, probably got up to about 3,000 calories on average this week, but maintain my weight. My workouts, um, my target now, I've reduced from 1,600 calories burned down to 1,500 calories burned. And my new goal is, my target is, again, November 9th. It's my baby. November 9th, uh, going to the Dominican Republic with my kids and enjoy the sun and the beach and things like that. So, anyways, I'll, uh, try, to, I'll try to post videos uh, more frequently still, or regularly still, kind of talking about my updates. Check out the spreadsheet. Link is in the in the caption. Connect with me on my fitness pal T F L E K S, and then follow along on Instagram, Facebook. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along, and uh, tune in next time.